Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Alex Dote, and today we have a really cool opportunity to sit down and talk with one of our PhD LPGA tour players, Jennifer Song. Jennifer, hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. How are you today? I'm doing great. Weather's nice, and it's very sunny here in Orlando, so I'm really enjoying the day. So this is typically the height of golf season. How are you handling all the recent things? Well, it's, uh, it's definitely a, a different feeling. Um, every day is kind of different. Um, usually I'd be competing right now, but uh, um, I've just been really sitting home and waking up and trying to make everything uh, productive, um, practicing, working out. And uh, I found myself doing a lot of house chores these days. So I'm actually very busy, but um, it's actually nice to kind of sit back and kind of slow down a little bit because uh, I've never had this time in my life for in like 20 years so I'm really embracing it and you know taking it gratefully. No yeah I think a lot of people feel that way. I want to talk with you about the PXD Apparel Spring Summer 2020 collection. So you're wearing the big logo sweater. It looks yeah. awesome. <laughs> what are some of the pieces you're excited to wear out on the court? Well, I actually love every piece that I got from PXG. Um, I'm a big fan of black and white color, and mm -hmm. most of their products are black and white, which is my favorite. Um, but uh, I re really love their sweaters, especially the ones with the big PXG logo. It really stands mm -hmm. out, and uh, every time I wear their sweaters, I feel sharp. Uh, um, definitely, I feel professional, and... Um, I get a lot of great comments when I wear their products. Uh, a lot of my friends are like, wow, you look so sharp in it. You look like a fighter. Uh, it's got, it's bold. So it definitely has big statement when I wear it, wear it. Yeah, I like that about it too. It sends a message and you don't even have to say anything. Yeah, but I love mm -hmm. it. When you're on tour and traveling, how many outfits do you typically pack with you? Um, usually I try to pack about eight to nine sets of clothes. Um, yeah, so eight different tops and like eight different bottoms. Uh, if I don't have that, then it should be like five to seven mm -hmm. on top, top and bat bottom. And, um, I mean, I wish I could pack more, but, uh, the more I pack, I I'll always be overweight when I'm traveling. Yeah. So I got to kind of balance that out. Now, I see, obviously, you're at home. You have a practice net in the back. What have you been working on at home? Oh, uh, you want me to show it to you right now? Yeah, I do, actually. That'd be awesome. Okay, well, let me just uh, go through what I've been working on here, and then I'll show it to you. Uh, Perfect. Well, I usually have a fast tempo uh, on my backswing, so I've been really working on a steady takeaway. And once I finish my backswing, I have a tendency to pull down the club with my hands, mm -hmm. but I don't want to do that because I'm going to come across. So I've been trying to uh, numb up, uh, feeling wise, kind of numb out my hand and try to just uh, rotate my torso, then uh, really pulling my handle. So mm -hmm. then I'm not really pulling it across. So I'll just show it to you right now. Cool. instead of being risky then from my back swing instead of pulling with my hands rotating it with my body rotating it through clearing it with my torso so it's going to look like this what that was good it was really good <laughs> What advice would you give to people who are, you know, trying to practice stuff at home? What advice would you give to them? How can our PhD troops kind of do what you're doing and work on this? Uh, yeah, uh, I found a lot of people, they don't have a chance to go out to the golf course. They're quarantining and some, some of the golf courses are closed. So uh, even uh, myself, sometimes I stay at home and, you know, if you don't have a golf club, I'll usually swing a towel and just because it's a, a towel gives you a great sense of rhythm and sequence. Mm -hmm. So you can hold the towel in your hand and when you swing, 
Just make sure that the sound of the towel starts from impact to follow through. So if you focus on that sound, you'll have a good sequence and good swinging kind of feeling. So I think that's a great way to keep, you know, get your golf swing going. Yeah, no, that's a really good tip. And you can't break anything. Well, no. you can break less using a towel. So. I know. But yeah, it's a great way to practice. So I think everybody should try it. That's cool. No, that's a really good tip. I'm definitely going to try that. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know it's a hot early in the day, so I'll let you go. But thank you so much, Jennifer. We really appreciate you taking the time to sit down and talk with everyone. Thanks for having me, Alex. Thank you.